Hey y'all, thank you for joining me for our Saturday morning prayer. So our posture today is freedom. We're gonna be thinking about freedom. Like so many things try to bound us. We think about the thoughts that we have, the expectations that maybe our family have for us. You might even have a whole vision for your life. You may say, I wanted to do this by 30, this by 35. I wanted to, you know, have X, Y, and Z. And it doesn't look like that. And you get weary and be like, okay, what are people going to think about this thing? What is going to look like? But God said, look, there's freedom in Christ Jesus. Don't let the worldview bind you. Don't let what people say bind you. Don't let stereotypes bind you. Because sometimes we'll let stereotypes bind us because it don't look like or sound like or talk like how supposed to think, how we supposed to think because we made that up in our mind. But God said we are a peculiar people. We're different. We're set apart. So why do we try to bring the worldviews into our own? views we're different so lord i just want to encourage your people that when you bless them when you give them what they've been asking for when they have it god that they will be good stewards of it that they won't criticize it and be like lord what is this because it don't look like what you what they thought it was gonna look like just like the woman she he said what do you have in the house and she said i got a little oil and some jars to anybody, that may not seem like nothing, but it turned into a multi-million dollar business because she had oil flowing, flowing and flowing and flowing as long as she had jars. So sometimes God will use different things, different people, different scenarios to bless us. So let us rest in that freedom and know that God, you got us. There is freedom in Christ Jesus. So let us be empty. Put down our expectations, our thoughts, our feelings of what we think it's supposed to look like, sound like, talk like, and take on the worldview of God. Lord, we just pray that you give us new eyes new eyes to see new eyes to hear lord we pray that we quiet ourselves and stop comparing and contrasting and looking to the left and to look to the right let us look up to you look in your word look at the examples that you have given us in the bible god let it resonate in our heart god let us empty ourselves and know that whatever you said is going to hold it's going to stick it's going to be a good foundation what we build can crack the wind can come by it'll blow it down a tornado can come by and blow it down but whatever you say god the whole world could be breaking down but the word of god will stand Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word will stand. So, Lord, we just rest in your word. We know what you spoke of us. We know what you said over us. So, we declare it daily. We trust you daily. There is freedom in Christ Jesus. Send freedom right now to your people. In the name of Jesus, let go every stereotype, every expectation that they have, everything that mama might want them to do, daddy might want them to do, whatever it is that's holding them, that's binding them, that has changed around their dis chains around their destiny. We declare and decree that it's been broken off right now in the name of Jesus. Now walking into freedom. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Y'all go forth. Walk into freedom today. I love y'all. And let's continue to grow in God as I always talk to y'all soon. Bye.